We don't have that in the brochure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, we get, when we get to this part of the training and mm-hmm. the coaching and that kind of stuff, we mm-hmm. talk about it, you know, how to handle it, yeah. and even bring it up. Or you know, just to it, say up front, you're going to get sued. Right. When you start your plumbing business. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 396th episode of Potty Talk. And hey, in this episode, uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm going to play one <laughs> on this episode. Uh-oh. Okay, we're talking about... <laughs> You know, if your plumbing business gets sued, oh. right? That's that's one of the, and at first, that's one of the scariest things oh, it is. With, with your business. Mm-hmm, uh, sure. It's one of the most emotional things that can happen. Mm-hmm. It will always kind of be emotional. We're going to talk about that. Okay. Um, but it's the first time, you know, that it happens and it will happen. Yeah. Okay. It will happen when you're in business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter what doesn't matter what business it is. Nope. Yes. You, you just know, have and, to be in the plumbing, sad, you know, we're, plumbing business. We're a litigious society. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's things out there that are set up. They're looking, looking to get your money. Mm-hmm. All right, and that's well. And there are some people that just right. do that. Right. Well, yeah, so. yeah. I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue. Yeah. You know, all, right. <laughs> all right. We're gonna talk about how to handle that. Okay. okay right now. All right. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. First thing you want to do mm-hmm. or think or really to realize. Okay. You know, it's business as usual. Okay. Okay. It's business usual. Mm-hmm. All right, it, it's just it's just part of business. Cost of do, being in okay. business. You know, it's we, the privilege of being in business. It's the privilege of being. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. You know, it's not. Um, you know, we don't. You know, we kind of joke a little bit with with our clients or whatever that it's. You know, we don't have that in the brochure. Yeah. <laughs> and we get when we get to this part of the training and the mm-hmm. coaching and that kind of stuff, we mm-hmm. talk about it. You know, how to handle it. Yeah. And even bring it up. Or you know, just to it, say up front, you're going to get sued. Right. When you start your plumbing business. Right. <laughs> you know, it's not. It's not something that you you know you want to talk about. Right. But it it will happen. Mm-hmm. It does happen. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so it's important not to take it personally. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. what's, what's the famous oh, line? Oh, it's so hard. From the oh, from the Godfather. Right. It ain't not, personal. <laughs> it's not personal. It's business. It's business. Because well, they just sh- as killed as his son, right. Sonny, on the side right. of the road. Right. shooting you in the head. It, right. it ain't personal. It's <laughs> just something we got to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, um, but so it, it certainly does feel personal because it's your baby, right? right. But it's emotional. You got to step mm-hmm. back and not Take it personally, mm-hmm. okay? Well, and also it's, um, yeah, I'm taking it personal. What's the, the word I'm looking for? Where it's justice, like more than likely it's wrong, right? right? More than likely, more than likely, not always. I mean, yeah, it was certainly there were sometimes you mess up and whatever, um, but right. um, it's a justice thing. It's like, well, how in the, why, how in the world, right? So then you just, then you do end up taking it personal. Well, it's, it's, because basically you realize it's a, it's a legal shakedown. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, it's, it's legalized theft. I'll go that far and say it's legalized theft, Mm -hmm. especially when we're talking about insurance companies. Uh, And that's, that's most of the time where where it's going to happen. This thing of a, um, the customer saying they're going to sue you Mm -hmm. or that, you know, this and that, that's, that's, that was, that's more rare. That's, that's extremely rare Mm -hmm. unless you, there's truly been a huge mess up Mm -hmm. or or something like that. Right. Um, But even in that case, um, you know, insurance companies get involved. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you look at, if you ever, have you noticed insurance companies, their, their corporate offices, they're all marble and gold. Very nice. And they're very nice. <laughs> and, and all the execs and even the mid, middle management are going on trips, you know, right. Carib- mm-hmm. you know Caribbean trips and <laughs> all this kind of stuff. That's not being made because of the, you know, the monthly um, <laughs> premiums. And premiums that are being made. <laughs> no. All right. It's because they make their money on suing mm-hmm. for everything. Right. In fact, majority, you know, insurance companies, all the big percent are made up of attorneys. Mm. Okay. Yep. And this has been set up, is, you know, so... The, the laws have been set up. The laws are created by whom? Mm-hmm. Attorneys, mm-hmm. right? Right. And so th- they've been set up to be able to, to play this kind of game. Mm-hmm. So for you know, example, we'll just, I, I, I got to share the first time that happened to us. Mm-hmm. And the reason I know, I mean, this, I, was, I was in the truck. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I know, I know the job. And I went out on a, on a hose picket job that, mm-hmm. that we didn't install. Right. It, it burst over the winter. You know, the, the customer left their hose, hose on, the, on the hose bib. Mm-hmm. And so it's spring. And they go to, you know, water, you know, water, you know, they're outside. And they, mm-hmm. after that, for a couple hours, they come back in and their whole living room and kitchen, kitchen. Is, oh, is all flooded. flooded. It's all wet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because the, the host, host bib had, um, had burst. Right. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so they called, you know, Attaboy Plumbing and mm-hmm. I go out there, you know, right. <laughs> Here's what it is. And mm-hmm. I get, I gave him a good deal. That's before I was really pricing. Right. So it was, you know, I did it for free. <laughs> Basically. Which is even how it even <laughs> hurts more. I mean, that, you know, I've mentioned in past episodes of the truck I had, I had the mm-hmm. spray paint at the bottom. I'm in, I'm in that truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's back early days here mm-hmm. and um, I'm out in this job and I, I repair it. Nope. No problems. No, nothing whatsoever. Mm-hmm. 
It wasn't. It wasn't even. I, I, it wasn't, wasn't ours originally. Why? Well, was my fault? I didn't do it. You know, what, whatever. I do do the job. Mm-hmm. All right. And then a couple months later, I get, we get this. You know, suit from an insurance company. Insurance that we're being company. sued. Right. For twelve grand. Right. Wait. But what? 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 Wait. Wait. What? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter. You know. And so you call calling them up, and you know you're trying to you're pleading your case, and I'm emotional, and mm-hmm. well, I, I didn't even do it. I didn't. I didn't even install the. We just I came just, and fixed, I fixed it. it. <laughs> I'm right. But you, you owe twelve thousand dollars. Right. They didn't but care. On the other side, they don't care. No. They don't care. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. You can, you can try to do whatever. Right. They don't care. Their job is to get money from you. Mm-hmm. And really what the game is to settle. That's what we start learning. Right, exactly. Okay. All right. We, and that's, that's that the, was the one we learned that on. That's the injustice. I mean, mm-hmm. and that, that happens all the time. Right. Yes. All right. Well, what was the disposition of that? Well, of that, of that, I mean, so we we were all upset about you know twelve thousand dollars. Like this, oh. this wasn't even ours, and whatever. Oh, and I got but, I got an attorney. You know, we always say you know I always get a, you know, I'm a, you don't have an attorney on retainer. Okay, <laughs> at this stage of the game, you don't have an no. attorney relationship. Mm-hmm. All right, and neither do your customers, by the way. So when I say, I'm going to get with my attorney. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I might I I don't know what to do with this. I'm I'm, I'm literally I'm I'm scared. Right. And it's I'm mad. Mm-hmm. Just you know, angry. And so I, you know, I pull out the yellow pages back. Mm-hmm. This tells you when this was. It's back when right. there's yellow pages. And I'm looking in the local area for it. Well, this looks like I can say their names. Yeah. And this looks but, good. But it was small and okay, maybe they won't charge a lot. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and so I wound up using this attorney and dealing mm-hmm. with this insurance company, which attorneys are meant, you know, I'll get to this. Mm-hmm. Their job, they make money by selling time. We talk about what we're really selling. We're selling as plumbers time. That's right. what attorneys are selling as well. Mm-hmm. So they're going to go back and forth. They get paid no matter what. Mm-hmm. In fact, in every legal case, the only ones that make money that come out feeling good at all are the attorneys. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Neither side ever wins. Never. Really. Mm-hmm. Um, unless the insurance company, they win by just getting whatever. But right. I'm talking about going against person to person, right. you know, that kind of a thing. Um, wind up spending over $4,000 with this attorney. Mm-hmm. Okay. To, to work on this. Mm-hmm. Now, we got it. I remember with this particular case, the attorney got it, got it down, mm-hmm. which works to, with their attorney. And it's the game. Mm-hmm. And they know they're going to settle for whatever. Right. Got it down to like $8,000. Mm-hmm. Paid the attorney $4,000. <laughs> I should have just paid the $12,000. I, I want to pay $12,000, right? Mm-hmm. Same, that's, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's, that's just how it works. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that whole time, that whole nine-month period, you know, I'm angry. Mm-hmm. And I'm scared mm-hmm. and I'm upset mm-hmm. and the world sucks <laughs> and, and all those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay. It ain't personal. It's just, it's just how business is done. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Point number two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go ahead. One, oh, no, I was going to say something, but I just saw there's a point. No, no, no. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> well, the next point is that and we've talked about the lawyer is don't lawyer up mm-hmm. yeah. on these kinds of, don't lawyer up. Mm-hmm. Unless you have to, unless there's, you know, some sort of small claims and then your state has a certain um, maximum that you, unless you have to have an attorney or whatever, right? If you, if but, you, that, in, in that case. Yeah. But I'm, I'm also, t- I'm talking about from an inter- insurance standpoint, from an insurance yeah. standpoint, because that's most of the time, that's what this is going to, that's how it's going to hit you. Mm-hmm. It, it's an insurance situation. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, that's a good point. And, you know, if, if, if you do have a customer who, you know, does sue you and what they do is they go to, it's a small claims mm-hmm. issue, which is still, it's still upsetting. It's still mm-hmm. scary because you're yeah. going to go stand in front of a judge. Mm-hmm. Um, but depending on your state and the amount of the claim, whether it, because you're a business, you may have to have an attorney. Correct. With you. I think Indiana was five thousand dollars, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, anything over five thousand dollars, you as a business, even though it was small claims, you as a business had to have an attorney. Now the the customer didn't have to have yeah, one because they if they they weren't a business. Right. So, so yeah. you have to know that. You're gonna know that. But most time, I'm talking about you know you're gonna get these suits and they're gonna look very. They're going to be delivered to you. That was another thing. It's delivered to you, mm-hmm. you know, um, officially, right. um, even certified what, or certified um, or by a sheriff yeah. or, you know, a, a representative of the court. Mm-hmm. So it's all very serious and right. it's like, oh, mm-hmm. and it's made to make you feel bad, mm-hmm. you know, so even from there. And so you open that up and yeah, they have the claim. All right. And maybe even have a court date already. Sure. That, that kind of a thing with this insurance company. Um, but you don't have to react right then. And then mm-hmm. when you talk with them again, don't take it personal. You got, you got to, got to be outside your emotions. Okay. But you don't have to lawyer up. Right. Okay. Um, it's, it's a matter of then you can work with, that's what we learned with was, mm-hmm. you know, you're saying you owe me 12,000, you owe 12, my client $12,000. Well, right. I don't, I don't have $12,000. I'm not going to pay you $12,000. Right. Well, what do you have? I don't, what do you got? <laughs> I mean, you got to get comfortable playing this game. Right. All right. The lovely Laura did a lot better at it than I did because she's not a hothead. <laughs> At this particular time in my life, when I was going to this kind of, I'm a hothead. 
Every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumbline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumbline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumbline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumbline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. And guys, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't help. And it doesn't matter. It, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Okay? So it's learning just to just relax in it. And then when they say, you know, $12,000, um, twelve dollars. You come back with a you know counter. Yeah. I'll give you twelve dollars. Right. No, you're going to pay something, okay? Because you're just paying. It's just it's just part of the game, okay? And it's not right. Right. You get it. It's right. an, it's more than likely it's there's a. I, di I didn't cause it. I wasn't there. Right. It's not. It's mm -hmm. not even my job. It's not. You know, I mm -hmm. it wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even work in the house. You be so. I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm kind of being a little silly here, but it is that silly. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a back and forth kind of a thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you'll finally get it down. I mean, I can think of claims that were eight to 12 mm -hmm. and it's always in that, so it seems in, that in my time back, mm -hmm. you know, in that range right. of some kind of damage mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's always eight to 12 mm -hmm. in that area. And you get them down to, you know, 2,500 bucks, right. you know, and pay over time and let right. us know in the comments. Have you been sued for one? Right. Um, have you, have you been sued? What was the amount? Um, and how'd you handle it? I'd love to know in the comments. Um, and, there will be some, at some point as a business, if you're an actual business, um, you are going to have some lawsuits. It's just the cost of doing business. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, you know, the point is we, we talked about you may get it may go to court. And at that mm -hmm. point, you got to know what your, um, your your state requirements are as a business. If you have to have an attorney, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times I didn't have it wasn't like it sounded like we're in the court all the time. But look, yeah. as you grow. And mm -hmm. you have more customers, which means you're in more jobs. There's more stuff that's going on. Right. Your target is bigger. Mm -hmm. And believe me, there, there are insurance companies are looking, looking to, I mean, to get you, right. to, to make money off you. Yes. And right. don't ignore it. Right. Right. And you, you, yes. you, you may think, I'm just ignoring This is stupid. I wasn't even, it's not my problem. I'm just ignoring it. Don't do that because <clears throat> more than likely they will get a court date. And if you're not there at court, they get awarded the entire amount. I did. In fact, I often say here <laughs> on the program, don't do what I did. I've made every mistake. Right. I've, I've made, I've done all the stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. I probably just lost some credibility there, <laughs> but I hope, I don't want you to do the stupid stuff. Right. We, we learned after right. a while, but yeah, we, so don't, we ignored one. Right. So I ignored one, mm -hmm. went to, they went to court and they got awarded the whole a judgment, yeah. the whole judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay. The whole thing. For, for that. And it wasn't even, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I was just so pissed mm -hmm. if I can, I'll say that, mm -hmm. you know, and mad, I'm just not even going to. Yeah. Throw it, throw it away. It, it was my, it was my mm -hmm. anger and my emotion mm -hmm. is that's why I said it doesn't, doesn't help. It doesn't do anything. You, so don't ignore it. Okay. Yes. So, you know, so you may get, it may go to court mm -hmm. depending on whether you need an attorney or not. You can go stand by yourself. It, it, you know, when you go to court, you know, wear you know, dress well. Mm -hmm. Um, it's yes, sir. You know, yes, ma'am. Um, you know, it's just and, take as much documentation as possible, right? That, mm -hmm. that we got signed off on this and this, mm -hmm. and we did this and here's the pictures, mm -hmm. you know, and this wasn't my job and here's what I did when I did correct their work. And mm -hmm. it's not, you know, that kind of a thing. Right. And the judge will, will take a look at it. a lot of times the decisions not made then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but then the judge, even if they, even if they, so the judge says, well, okay, you owe $2,000. Mm -hmm. Well, that just says that you owe two thousand right. dollars. Then they got to come after the then thing. Then they got to collect it. Then they got to collect it. So you can play that game. So on the flip side of that, mm -hmm. when you go sue somebody, just because you get the money from the customer, because well, you get the judgment, you, you get the judgment. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, the customer still doesn't pay. Right. Because then you got to spend more money. Then you got to spend attorney money mm -hmm. to go after you know a couple right. thousand dollars mm -hmm. or four. You know. Right. And it's always anytime you have an attorney yourself, it's always at least four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So you might as well know that. <laughs> right. All right. Mm -hmm. So we, we talk about, you know, how to, how to look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll get to that here in just a moment. Okay. But before we do, <laughs> hey, I have something for you for joining us. Check it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion.
All right, welcome back. Okay. All right. All right. I'm playing a I'm, I'm playing a lawyer here. <laughs> Perry Mason. I'm Perry Mason. Right? Wow. Okay. Totally dated myself right, on yes. that one. We're talking about uh, getting sued, mm-hmm. and if you're growing your plumbing business, if you if you if you got any kind of a business going, mm-hmm. you will get sued. You will okay? get sued, it's but just, you're not going to get sued if you do like and follow potty talk. Hey, uh, I don't nice know, that was <laughs> not a good transition. We won't sue you. <laughs> we won't sue you at all. Like we love you. <laughs> Leave us a review of whatever um, you know podcast player you're listening to, or if you're watching us on YouTube or whatever. Please leave us a review, kind review. We love kind reviews. Um, subscribe also if you're watching. Um, on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and get notified when an episode drops. But yeah, we'd really appreciate a like and follow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Share the love. Mm-hmm. Thank you for doing so. All right. We're talking about, uh, you know, how, how you're going to handle when you, when you do get sued and you will get sued. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because it's business usual. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just, it's just, it's just part of, it's just part of doing business. Okay. Mm-hmm. So don't take it personally. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just, just, um, you know, just deal with it. Okay. Next, uh, don't lawyer up. Don't go right to a lawyer. Okay, because it's just, they're the only ones that'll make money. Okay, if you have to have an attorney, okay, um, you know, if you, if you go into court, depending on, you know, the dollar size that you're being sued for and the states have, you know, rules there, um, then, then get lawyered up. Mm-hmm. Okay, but if you're just dealing, we're talking about like an insurance suit right. here, which is nine times out of 10 is what it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even if it's with a customer, it's better to deal with the customer directly. Yeah. Okay. And go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And even in that situation, treat them like you're talking with, you know, a strong armed attorney. And by the way, that's how they are. That's their job to get money from you. Okay. So the customer is going to be a a similar kind of mindset. Okay. Mm -hmm. They want to get money back from you. Okay, just don't hand money over. Right. You, know, you just go back and forth and don't take it personal. Mm-hmm. Be calm, okay? okay. Mm-hmm. Don't lawyer up. And then finally, mm-hmm. the point is write it out. And that's the hard thing. <laughs> a lot of times we because this is on our, our brains and the pressure of it, we just want to, okay, I'll do, I'll do whatever. Well, okay? or, I want to fix it. I want to fix it or it's always right. I want to tell him to shove it. You know, <laughs> right. <laughs> just, just, write, just write it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're not, you know, we, we have a saying, you know, in the academy and with our clients, you know, you're not going to die today. Mm-hmm. This is not where you die. Right. Mm-hmm. This, this situation is not, is not going to end your business. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's not a priority. They're going to be all on fire. Right. You got to pay. You got to do oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write it out. Mm-hmm. The longer you can write it out, mm-hmm. the less you're going to wind up paying. Mm-hmm. No, not ignoring it. Not, no, not, not ignoring it. Not ignoring it. it. Right. right. Don't ignore it. But mm-hmm. the longer, you know, that it goes on, mm-hmm. the less... That you wind up paying. Yes. Okay. So having the conversation, you know, talk with, if it's an attorney or the insurance company or the customer, talk with them, you know, get information, say, okay, well, I'm going to look into this or let me think about this and give you a call next week or, or whatever. Even if, you know, you end up um, having to, to pay something, well then pay it out over payments. Right. You have an agreement, you know, if you owe $5,000, say, okay, I'll pay you in 12 months, you know, 12 month installments, I'll pay every whatever. Right. Right. Um, just so you don't have a big outlay of cash. Now, if you have the $5,000, you know, and that's not going to be a, um, a hardship for you, then pay it, get it over with and move on. But just know right. you don't have to pay it all at once. You don't. Right. Um, as long as they're getting something. And again, guys, I, I know you're, you're thinking that's ridiculous. If it's not my fault, why in the world would I pay something? It, it's just, you're going to, you just are. Again, it's the cost of doing business. Right. So it's, it's how mm-hmm. it's how it's set up. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, so, you know, but the final point on this, yes, and we, the we, most important part, right? <laughs> is we ask, you know, who pays for all this? Yes. Not you. Nope. The customers pay. Mm-hmm. Your customers pay for the customers that rip you off mm-hmm. and for just the cost of doing business. Okay. Your customers for your pay attorney for everything. Fees. Right. For your mm-hmm. attorney fees. Mm-hmm. Right. So, as, you know, we, we talk about this, you know, in the academy and, and what we call building your honest hourly rate mm-hmm. on actually how to do that. You know, one part in there is, you know, what we call, you know, loss. And, mm-hmm. and so this kind of, you're going to keep track of these kinds of things. Mm-hmm. So that at 8000 and 12, well, basically $12,000, I learned then that I figured that into my, my price. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And so, so my, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, so you kind of take, think how much over a course of a year am I going to have in these types of things? <laughs> Hopefully it's not a lot, but there are going to be some, you know, so if you put in $10,000, you know, like, again, if we're talking about the calculator on a salary right. rate calculator, you put in, <coughs> excuse me, ten thousand dollars for the year. It's probably a good amount, right? Yes. So especially when, yeah, when you when you're smaller, mm-hmm. but that that will grow because the cost of just protect a protection. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what you know. Then you will you, you will get to a size where you will have in a relationship with an attorney. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, then they just and, take and, care of everything. And for they, you. Right. And and you're gonna you know and you're gonna kind of have them on a little bit of a retainer and. Mm-hmm. 
and you're going to be having doing, you know, following up on things and doing things and address, addressing things, okay? And that will be built into your hourly rate, okay? Right. Which your customers pay for. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So <laughs> there we go. Hey, it everything. is it is one of the um, scariest, most frustrating things. Frustrating. Um, you know, when, especially when you're 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 an honest company. You're just out here doing right. good work, and and then you have you know you're you're being sued for something you didn't even do. Mm-hmm. All right, just because you're you know you were there, and that's right. just guys. And I, I you know we, we I, I've talked about this before. That's why it's so important um, that. Uh, you know, that you take pictures of your jobs and when you're on the jobs and, and that kind of a thing, mm-hmm. um, because you walking in that house, um, you know, even that's why we talk about doing an inspection and not charge, you know, always, always had our guys and it came from this kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it was started from, it wasn't because I was taught to do it. It came from what I call, you know, protecting my six, mm-hmm. you know, I had, had my guys doing um, inspections, mm-hmm. even though we're there just to wind up, going to wind up replacing a flapper. I want to do a whole house inspection. Mm-hmm. Because I wanted to find out if there was something up with the water heater. Because if that water, if you're in that house for repairing that toilet, and that water heater causes damage in the next six months, like it, it bursts and causes damage, mm-hmm. all right, and you didn't offer a new water heater or that kind of a thing or, or didn't pick up on that, and they turn that into their insurance company. By the way, the, the company that I was charged, the insurance company, the, the customer didn't come after me. No, they just turned the claim into their insurance company. Right. And then they, the insurance company got all the information, like mm-hmm. who's the last, um, you know, home service providers that have been in your house right. in the last year. And I'm sure we weren't the only ones in that job. Oh, we weren't. That, <laughs> we that, that's, that's part of that's that's mm-hmm. part of the frustration. You, you know, they were hitting us for up for the whole cost. They were mm-hmm. hitting others up for the whole cost. Mm-hmm. Hitting someone else up for the whole cost. You know, the, the actual plumber who did the work, mm-hmm. who built the, you know, right. hit him up for the whole cost. Mm-hmm. So that they're 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 not just double dipping. Right. You know, they're because yeah, because they know they're not going to get all of it. From, right, but they but what they wind up making more money. They still of wind course. up making money because it's a payoff. That's why okay. they have marble floors right. in their buildings. Exactly. <laughs> so that's why you know we, we did those home inspections mm-hmm. because you will get. I mean, for that that kind of situation, you're in the house for the flapper. The water heater goes out and causes damage. You could be sued for that. Mm-hmm. You know, because the world you're, isn't fair. because you're the professional, licensed professional plumber. Right. Was was in there? And their mm-hmm. argument would be, well, you should have caught it. Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't called for that. Right. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Your, right. your name's, your name's, your company's been out there. You've been in their driveway. So now, right. yeah, you're on it. So yeah. guys, we know this is a tough, um, a tough topic and it's one that can be really frustrating. Um, mm-hmm. But learn from our mistakes. Again, you know, the, the main thing is, you know, take, take a minute, take a breath, right? Um, when you get to <laughs> take a breath, take, take take a breath. breath. <laughs> don't immediately pick up the phone and, you know, call the insurance, you know, agent and blah, blah, right. whatever, you know, take, take a minute or two. Um, kind of relax, calm through it, and, and do these these uh, right. simple steps. There we go. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, and if you'd like help in building your plumbing business, and learning these kinds of things, let's have a conversation. You can schedule a free strategy call, and we'll just uh, have a little conversation, mm-hmm. all right, about these kinds of things mm-hmm. and what you can do and point you in the right direction. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call and schedule your free strategy call. There we go. All right. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.